Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming and another Hogwarts Legacy video. Well, we finally have our first major update and with it have some major changes. We're going to hop into it right here, right now. Let's go. Once again, thanks for watching everybody and without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get started because PlayStation 5 owners, well, you're going to have to wait a couple days before we get it. It's going to be for Xbox and for PC. Starting off with bug fixes. Under General Online, fix issues with achievement data being properly pushed to Wizarding World Portal after lagging. Gameplay, Owl Mill fixed the issue with mail not properly trickling sequential missions. World events, fixed rare crash around certain locations where in-game world events spawning. And NPC, fixed a rare crash when respawning NPCs in the world and also fix crashes with some NPC schedules. For characters, fix issues with flickering occurring with a transparent head while hair is still present. Under UI, updated localization text for additional content items, added build version to first time EULA, fix rare occurrences of mission description not being properly corrected. Cinematics, Corrected VFX presentation of road transformation. Fix the stability issue when skipping cutscenes. Fix the crash when playing cutscenes and cinematics. For save game, fix error of rewriting last auto save slot. And fix the issue where restarting from last save around not being able to talk to a vendor after initial conversation. Resolve the following reported issues. Of course, I'll be linking all of this down below. Under performance and stability, Improved performance on fidelity mode. Fixed a rare crash around hovering over the map. Fixed issue with wind causing distortion and scratching of world assets. Fixed a rare occurrence with material swapping. Fixed rare occurrence with map asset state. And fixed rare crashes occurring with in-game world events. And fixed memory leak with global lighting system HL-313. Now for Xbox Series X. Under performance and stability, improve crash collection to help chase rare crashes. For PC Steam and PC Epic Games, cinematics fix audio issues missing or not properly playing controller. Switch Pro Controller support updates for HL-646. Upscalers enable frame generation while DLSS is disabled. Anti-lasaling and screen resolution settings disabled when using DLSS and not super resolution. Ray tracing fixed issue RTAO looking worse than SSAO. Adjusted default setting to medium quality. Under performance and stability, shader type compilation optimization, shader compilation performance updated and functionality enhancements and fixed a crash affecting text to speech usability. Resolve issue with world assets abruptly being scratched when resolving the following reported issues, that's going to be HL-305 and HL-265, and resolve the issue with NVIDIA GPUs having lower frame rates compared to AMD, and for DirectX version number 12, please note, DirectX 12 versions is required to run Hogwarts Legacy on PC. We do not suggest attempting a workaround to run this game with DirectX version 11, and this could cause stability issues. So boom, there you have it. The first huge major update is here. Of course, hasn't showed up just yet for PlayStation 5, it will be coming in the next couple days. But for everybody on the Xbox and on PC, of course, this is for you. Links down below to the full passion ass, and I hope you have a wonderful day. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpool Game, a little wide variety of videos, ranging from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support, and as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.